what are these feelings that I am feeling? Like, child. You and me can't so today I am going to be letting y'all know about um, my updated love life I guess you could say I have no problem with sharing you know certain parts of my life with y'all here like my internet friends internet community and stuff like that no problem at all and I know that this was one of those topics that y'all were asking about on like my Instagram story and I was like, okay cool because I had a poll up there like what video am I going to be posting it was like how did love find me uh employee story time and job update or something and the one that I was uploading was the employee update but people said that they wanted to see the other two story times as well well not story times but like other two videos as well so this is one of those videos so let's start from the beginning right okay so it is march <laughs> when this video is posted it is march 2023 right me and my boyfriend met seven years ago seven years ago in college we were both joining a engineering and architecture fraternity basically that's exactly what it is it is a co-ed frat where there are women and men that's what co-ed means and you have to have a major of engineering computer science or architecture at the time they have widened their degree specifications to like applied sciences now but back then it was just engineering computer science and architecture he was an engineer major i was a computer science major yeah so we met seven years ago joining this organization and during this time we were um all of us like it was seven of us um i'm gonna try to put pictures <laughs> i'll try to put pictures of stuff like on the side we were um joined by five other people it was three girls and four boys and we all bonded during this time of trying to join this organization we had to study a lot together we had to practice a lot together so we all formed a friendship i knew everybody on the line at least some way form or fashion seen them except for him except for him and then later on he told me we had a class together my freshman year which i don't remember but it is what it is right i didn't we all joined the organization it's a great time we all consider each other brothers and sisters because it's a it's a fraternity it's a it's a frat you know if you if you've gone to hbcu or just gone to college before and you know about fraternities or sororities no matter if they're black based or if they're not you call them your sisters you call them your brothers and since we have both we have brothers and sisters right so no matter how old or how young someone is they are our brother and theirs and our sister but when you cross with a line they are specifically your line brother and your line sister so the first thing he ever was to me was my line brother he was actually our line president so he was my line president and my line brother yeah so after we crossed we all were of course a part of the organization i was looking at the, all the boys and i was like man if anybody was to ask me if i'm actually related to anybody it probably would be him because to me i thought we just had similar i guess you could say facial features our skin tones were like just about the same to me like in my eyes and it just made sense like in my head it just made sense little did i know that was like <laughs> That was my way of crushing back then, but I had no idea until like years later. But I was just like, oh yeah, you know, whatever. Something that my mom pointed out to me was that no matter when we took a picture, like us as a line, every time we took a picture, we had photo shoots or whatever, which we took a lot of photo shoots for my graduation. I asked them to take photos with me. She always points out that he was either right next to me or like right behind me. And I never noticed that until she pointed it out uh, recently which is super crazy. But seven years ago is when we met and when we entered officially into each other's lives. Years went on, I was in a serious relationship. <laughs> 
I was in a relationship at the time from like high school up until then, child. Now I'm gonna talk about that. Excuse me. He was also in a relationship at the time as well. So those thoughts weren't even crossing my mind anyway as how they probably would normally, but I definitely always looked at him as different. I always looked at him as like slightly set apart of my other brothers. I never knew why though, but that's just kind of how it was in the back of my head. So anytime we would have parties or we would hang out, most of the time he actually was not there, which is crazy. He wasn't there too often, but when he was there, it was like super fun, super great. When all seven of us was together, like we were unstoppable. Like we were just, we were that line. I don't care what nobody say. When we were in undergrad, we were that line. All seven of us was just like lit in our own way. Then May 2017 comes up and we are graduating together. It is to the point where, okay, so how it is at our school, you graduate with your major. So I was in the College of Engineering, even though I was computer science. So I was just with the engineering people. And I knew like a handful of people that was graduating with me. I was graduating in four years. Typically it takes like five, but if you can do it in four, you definitely can. So I was doing it in four, he was doing it in five. He's a year ahead of me. I ended up, I what I do remember from that day, I remember seeing him like, oh my God, it's my lawn brother. Like it's, it's so-and-so. And we ended up taking a picture. I was, I asked whoever to take our picture. I was like, can you please take our picture? Me and my long brother are graduating together. Then I took a selfie. And then we, we ended up sitting next to each other at our graduation. We graduated undergrad literally together. Wild. I don't remember if he was first or if I was first, but we definitely were sitting together. And then after that, excuse me, y'all, I'm yawning. It's super early in the morning. After that, we parted our ways and graduated and whatever. So we lived in the same area of like Houston area, but I really saw him, he really saw me just because like life just happened. He ended up going to grad school after that as well too. So as I'm like working as like a full-time employee at like a firm, he's like back in school doing like whatever grad people do, don't know, cause baby that life was not for me. And yeah, but that still was my line brother, right? Like we still, all hung out when we could. It wasn't as often because once people started to graduate, people started to like move certain places, get jobs, internships, all that stuff. But um, of course we always kept in touch. And yeah, so like life is going on. I thought that his life was a certain type of way in regards to like his relationship and stuff. We all thought y'all, the entire line thought like we was like, who's gonna be the first to have a baby? Who's gonna be the first to get married, right? He was literally on the list the first to get married. We was like, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna get married first because he's been in this relationship and it seems to be working, blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> that relationship just didn't work out for him. And I personally was just in shock. I was like cl clutching my pearls. Like, what do you mean? Like, we thought you was gonna get married first and da, 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 da child and it just did not happen it's just crazy so he went on to um his journey i went on to mine fast forward to 2020 i ended up moving to oklahoma which all y'all should know if you're new here hey y'all <laughs> if you're new here i have been in oklahoma for the past three years and I moved right before the pandemic, coincidentally. The pandemic literally happened three years ago around this time. I moved like December 2019. I moved to Oklahoma. So life was like completely different different for me. I wasn't in the Houston area anymore. I couldn't really be a part of like the fraternity activities when it came to like new membership intake and stuff like that because I'm literally out of state. So I wasn't as involved as I was when I was in the area. I wasn't really seeing all of my line brothers and sisters a lot because it was the pandemic. Didn't really see anybody, especially because I moved to a whole nother state. Like it was crazy. Yeah, that was basically it. So like there really isn't a lot that happened between 2016 to 2022 to be honest like it was just like we just been friends for that long we've known each other that long we had we hadn't built a relationship outside of just being line brothers and sisters really in depth until 2022 so let's for let's fast forward to 2022 so it is january 6 i'm a fact check uh it's january 6 or 3rd i think it was the 6th or the seventh. I got a fact check. But it was, 
I would never forget this day, y'all. Never forget this day. I was at Olive Garden on a solo date or whatever, child. I don't know what I was doing. I was just eating, right? I was at Olive Garden. And one of my other line brothers was asking the group about like our opinions on like first dates, you know, like date ideas and all that. So there are the same amount of girls and guys that he's asking, it's three girls and three guys. So he's like, oh, I'm trying to take this girl on like some kind of date. I don't know if it was like a late date or some type of drive through thing. I don't fully remember, but he was like, oh, what do y'all like? Is this like a date that y'all would like go on? Then he was asking like the girl specific questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other two girls, or giving their opinion about like the date and how they go on dates and all this and that. I said, you know, I don't really be going on dates, especially out here in Tulsa. So I can't really give my input. I haven't been like on a date in a long time, but I think this is a really good date idea, right? Not trying to be on some like funny stuff or like make it about me or whatever. I was just being honest. Like I was like, I have, I, I don't do this often but what you have planned seems like it's cool. I wouldn't mind doing that if I was her, yada, 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 right? Like just giving my side of the, of the opinion, right? Then my boyfriend says, at the time he was just my line brother. My boyfriend says, oh, Kira. <laughs> he said, oh, Kira, I'll take you on a date, right? But I read it as a very nice brotherly type of thing. Like, aww, that is so sweet and blah, 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 whatever. So everybody after that is like blowing it up. Like they are blowing it out of proportion. People sending eye emojis, people sending gifs, people sending memes. And they're just like, boom, 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 boom in the chat. And I'm like, what chapter did I miss? What are y'all talking about? What do you mean? Like he was just being nice. Like I feel like anybody would have said that, right? Like I, I'm just like, he's just, he was, he was one of those type of people. He was one of those line brothers, like the very nice, sweet line brother. Like if you needed somebody to take you somewhere, like he would very dependable, like just a very dependable, sweet person. And that's how I took it. Everybody else took it as like, oh nah, bro, he's shooting his shot. And I was like, bro, y'all gotta relax. Like, what are y'all talking about? Like y'all crazy. So after everybody was blowing it up, he like changed the subject and was like, yeah, y'all just have a good day and yada, 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 whatever, whatever. And I was like, yo, what is going on? Like, I was just like, so confused. So I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna cap on y'all. From that day forward, it was stuck back here. Like when I say stuck in the back of my head, I thought about it so often. I was like, I was telling my sister, I was telling my little sister, I was like, bro, look what, look what he said. Like, what is, what does this mean? Why was everybody reacting like this? Why da 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 da? You think he got a crush on me? You think this? You think that? Like, when I say just on my mind, thinking about it, I mean, I'm like, man, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Da 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 da. So my little sister had moved to Tulsa like a few weeks after that incident, right? Like the end of January, beginning of February, something like that, right? So she moved here. We all had went to like me, her, and my other sister. So Sierra, D, and myself, plus Sierra's hus husband now, we all went to like this place where they had like a volleyball, like court and other things. We was all just chilling. So then I had showed D, I was like, girl, you think you think you got a crush on me? Like, what, what, what does this mean to you? And she was like, I don't, like, I don't know, like maybe whatever, da, da, da. And I feel like Sierra was looking at me like, girl, no shit, he got a crush on you. Like, what are you talking about? But she didn't say it. She didn't say it. Like, one thing about me and her, we always know what's going on with the other person a little bit before we realize it for ourselves. And that was one of the one of these situations. So this is in like March, I feel like, whenever this like volleyball uh, place happened. Okay, cool. Fast forward, right? So like from January up until this next point, I'm about to tell y'all, I'm thinking about this. Five months later, five, five months later, it is May. It is May and it is my line sister's birthday. So they are twins. It's their birthday. Um, their birthday is May 1st and they decided that they wanted to go to Dallas for their birthday. And then after the next weekend, we were gonna go to one of our frat brother's wedding in Houston. So I was like, okay, cool. I can drive up to Dallas. I'm from Dallas. I can stay with my people. 
and then stay with y'all for your birthday weekend. We enjoy the weekend, and then we're gonna go to Houston. At cook, well, they live in Houston, but I'm like, we'll go to Houston, then we'll go to the wedding, and we're gonna have a good week. Like, that's just what the plan was. So, the weekend that we were in Dallas celebrating their birthday, the husband who was getting married that following weekend was on his bachelor's trip, right? Cool. Nothing out of the norm going your bachelor's trip. So, most of the people that was on the bachelor's trip were in our fraternity. So, it was literally all of our line brothers, except for I think one of them. All of our line brothers, because the guy getting married was one of the people that brought us in, like brought us into the organization. So most of our line brothers were there and a lot of other people in the frat and then like some of his friends, right? So my boyfriend and two other of my brothers, right? So they're all hanging out. I thought it was so odd that my boyfriend was like on the trip because <laughs> he didn't really go to many places when people like was going on trips or like celebrating certain stuff, like, he wasn't there, not on some like, he doesn't want to be there. That's just wasn't like how he was in nature or like what I thought, right? So I was just very surprised when they were like, oh yeah, Brandon's here. And I was like, okay, like that's odd. But like, okay, cool, turn up, like what's up, right? But again, this thought is in the back of my head and I'm over here like, I don't like my brain is just like, it's conjumbled, right? So we ended up calling everybody on the trip just cause like whatever. So we ended up calling everybody like, hey, what y'all doing? Da da da. Of course, people are like, you know, talking to us because it's us. Uh, and we're just like, hey, we should have been on the bachelor trip. Yada yada yada. Whatever whatever. Like that's just how that's just how we was, right? So we ended up calling another person that was with my boyfriend and we called him and he was like hey i'm in the car with brandon we're not going to the other place that everybody else is going to da, da 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 so he we're on facetime right like we're on facetime all three of us are in like the airbnb and he's on facetime and then he turns the camera to him driving and he turns the camera and i was like i don't know what i initially thought but i was like dang when the last time i seen his face like like legit like seen his face like not on like social media or whatever and i just could not remember and again these thoughts are in the back of my mind like dang bro this dude like me or something whatever like that's crazy what i like i just don't know like i just don't know like i'm still just having these conjumbled like thoughts in my head the cool that that's what happened right fast forward to the wedding so it's the day before the wedding so it's single de mayo right let's just let's fast forward single de mayo single de mayo ended up going out with um one of my guy friends um timmy him and so he's an alpha well <laughs> timmy is an alpha he was an undergrad alpha so him and a lot of his line brothers and like friends were getting like this section at this club on single de mayo and i was like hey i don't know if like he asked me to go out or if i asked him what he was doing and he just invited me can't remember i really can't remember the the that context of that conversation that invitation but i ended up meeting him well no i yeah i ended up meeting him and like all the other people whatever at the section had a ball had fun smoked some hookah drank some drink cool it was cool so i ended up driving back to my line sister's houses houses line sister's house got in the bed now wake up to the next day the six right it was the six was on a friday because the wedding was on a saturday whatever it's the six it's may 6th and that entire day the twins are getting ready for the wedding because they're in the wedding <laughs> they're in the wedding and i'm at their house like just preparing myself for the wedding like the next day or whatever child i don't really know what i was doing but i was at the house i know for a fact i was just at the house i just started to get like overwhelmed with anxiety like just panicking anxiety and i'm just like what is going on and i realized that i am going to see this person that i have been thinking about for the past five months tomorrow like in person i have not actually seen him in years at this point i hadn't seen him since what 2019 because i had moved to oklahoma and anytime we had like a major 
trip for the for the fraternity like he just he didn't go so i literally hadn't seen him for three years it feels like like two and a half maybe like three years and again i have these thoughts not understanding what they mean and all that like in the back of my head yada 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 and i'm just like just super anxious like i'm just super anxious who child girl i was sweating i'm not even gonna lie like i didn't tell nobody about any of these feelings or nothing like that till way after but like i was so nervous like i felt like a little kid like, oh my God. It's the day of the wedding. The twins are already at the venue because of course they're in the wedding. Gotta make sure their hair and makeup, dresses, done, all that stuff. So I obviously drive myself to the wedding. So I'm getting ready for the wedding. I'm getting my hair together. I'm putting on my suit. Cause yeah, what I what a what I'm gonna do, what Red gonna do is I'm gonna step. Okay, I am gonna step. So it was a, it wasn't a dress code, but I considered it a spring wedding. So I wanted to put on my spring colors. I had on this nice pink pale suit with, I had this idea in my head, like this pink suit and I wanted to wear like a yellow top. So I think I, I bought the suit in Dallas when I went to Dallas. Like I bought my entire outfit when I went to Dallas, which is crazy. But I knew what I wanted to wear. Like I just did not have the outfit that I wanted to wear. And like, I, I just didn't. So I bought this pink suit in Dallas and I bought this yellow top um, as well. And I bought these yellow shoes and I knew I was gonna be wearing gold jewelry cause I love gold jewelry. So I bought this entire outfit boom we go to the wedding it's hot like when i say it's hot like it's blistering smoldering whatever adjective you want to use hot like sweaty i'm so glad i did not wear full face makeup for one because i don't know how to wear a full face makeup like that but i'm just glad like i just wasn't one of those girls and yeah like sweating outside but it was cool like it was cool ceremony was beautiful it was great i'm not thinking about this man whatsoever right i'm just thinking about how i just cried at the vows and we're about to party and we're about to have a great time so we walk into the reception area for like the cocktail hour while the wedding party takes pictures again i have not seen this person in like two and a half years not i don't understand oh y'all wait i forgot i forgot something let me go back real quick. So March, right? March, 2022. So, okay, wait, no. January, 2022, he started like this workout challenge or whatever, right? Like it was for himself, whatever. No one knew this except for maybe like the people close to him, like super close to him, like that talks to him on a daily basis. I did not know. I don't know if like some of our line knew. I just knew I didn't know. So his birthday is also in March, which is actually the day that I'm um, uploading this video. Um, happy birthday, babe. I love you. His birthday's in March, and then our one of our other line brothers' birthday is also in March. So it's literally like first line brother, my boyfriend's birthday, my birthday, like every week. It's crazy. So he went to, I think he went to Dallas or maybe Austin, wherever like our other line brother was living at the time, and they took a picture together. And when they took this picture, I know I wish I had this picture. I'm gonna ask him for this picture if you have it. I don't know what it was about this picture. I don't know if it was because it was it was a lot of reasons. Let me stop saying I don't know what it was. So th from the time of me last seeing him in 2019 up until 2022, he has grown his hair out. I know y'all don't know this, but I've always, always wanted a man with hair and I never got it. And the Lord was just saving this person for me. I've always wanted a man with hair. I think glasses glasses are very sexy and sophisticated like because it's like we blonde together we both can't see like it's just something about that and like skin tone so i know a lot of people have like their type or whatever i didn't really fully care like how a per i mean i guess technically i cared about like certain facial features or whatever because i was technically attracted to a certain type of like looking person but he completely fit the bill of everything that i was looking for like physical wise like it's crazy so but not but so he was like he started to work out challenge whatever him and um our other line brother adam took this picture and they put it in our chat in our group chat and it was like hey happy birthday to adam or something like that whatever and i was like Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> speechless. I, I was speechless. Sorry y'all about this sun that's about to like hit me. Yeah, so that means I need to hurry up with the story time. Is it going behind a cloud? Okay, let me hear you. So when I tell you I was speechless, 
and this is in March. So this is in the mid between January and May time. I was just like, what are these feelings that I am feeling? Like, child, crazy. So whoever that person was like physically or like just in general, I never met that person. So I technically did not recognize him. Like just on the street, I probably wouldn't have recognized him until I like really squint like, dang, Brandon, is that you? Like, it's crazy. So back to the wedding. We go into the reception hall, right? And I see people that was late that didn't make it to the actual uh, ceremony because like they cut it off because like it was outside and it just looked super weird. So I see like other people, I'm like, hey, hey, what's up? Da -da -da. And he taps me on my shoulder, bro. He tapped me on my shoulder like, dang, bro, you don't see me because I literally, I did not see him. Not on something like I wasn't trying to see him, but I did not recognize him. Like he was way slimmer. He had his hair like braided and he had on some glasses. That is not the person I saw two and a half years ago. Yes, I saw that picture like two months ago, but it just wasn't clicking. It wasn't clicking, Steven. I was Steven, right? So he tapped me on my shoulder and was like, hey, like, hey. And like, I fixed my, my eyes focused, like, I, cause I was just hugging people at this point, but my eyes focused and I realized who it was, like mid hug. And I was just like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's Brent. <laughs> like whatever, cool. I think I honestly, I think I hooked him and like low key walked off. I was like, oh, hey. And then went to the next person. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Cause all of the anxiety from the day before and like kind of like before the wedding and all that just like came rushing back because yeah. So fast forward, we end up sitting at the same table. He was plotting to sit at the same table as me. <laughs> because three of our line brothers and sisters were in the wedding two of our sisters one of our brothers and our other two brothers could not make it so to him he literally said it made sense for me to just sit at the table with my line sister and i was there with my little sister and her husband and stuff as well too but like he was like it just made sense like whatever so we ended up sitting at the table together we were just like kept literally catching up because i had not seen him in like two and a half like literally three years had not seen him in such a long time just catching up whatever talking about a plethora of different things right throughout this entire time i'm trying to be normal i'm trying to act normal i'm trying to act like nothing is like going on inside of my head but when i tell you there's 50 million things going on inside of my head it's going on so he ended up leaving early because he had to drive to dallas for another wedding the next day which is crazy had to go to dallas um the next day cool so he he ended up leaving and i ended up feeling like slightly better because like my anxiety wasn't like through the roof but at the same time it was like worse because i was like bro what is going on wedding's over i'm following the twins back to their house like it's like super far the venue is super far for where their house is that entire drive and it was just like super dark we was like in the, on this country road that entire time me driving home i'm just like what the f frick just happened like because when i tell you like my emotions were like times 10 like it was like crazy, generally freaking crazy. So the next day I was driving back to Dallas and my entire drive to Dallas was like that drive back to the twins house the night before, but times 20. Like I am overthinking. I am just trying to understand my feelings. I'm like, what is going on? Do I actually like this person? What, like, what is going on? Like, I'm truly, I'm truly confused. Like, because I'm like, this is my line brother. Like, that's weird, ain't it? Like, ain't that crazy? Like, whatever, like, I, it's just, it's just confusing. So I ended up texting my sister. I forgot what I texted her, but I'm just like, bro, like all these feelings, blah, blah, blah. And she literally said the most simplest thing. She said, why don't you just text him? I literally was like, immediately no. Immediately no, immediately no. Like, she was like, just text him like, hey, or whatever. Like, just have a start a conversation, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, bro, I cannot do that. Like, what are you talking about? Like, are you out of your mind? And I, that's when I knew something was up because what do you, Dakira, what do you mean you can't text your line, brother? What? It's crazy. So it took me, took me four hours to send him a text message. And I remember the day before he was telling me he was going to a wedding and he was like staying at his dad's house, blah, blah, blah. I think I texted him like, how's your dad and stepmom or something like, like I had something to, to go off with the day before, from the day before. Child, I don't know, it took me four hours to try to send that text message. It was crazy. So 
That was on May 8th. That was on May 8th. And every day since we have talked, texted, whatever. It just happened that way. And I remember later on, I had told him, I was like, this is like what I felt during this time, blah, blah, blah. Like I text you, this is how I was feeling when I was texting you, trying to understand, da, da, da. He told me, he was like, I mean, I'm not stupid. <laughs> He's like, I'm not stupid. Like we don't text, like we did not text. Like we were not that line brother sister that just be texting all the time, whatever, like not at all. I talked to everybody else a lot more than I talked to him and like vice versa, which is crazy. But he was like, bro, I, I'm not stupid. Um, I knew you was texting me. Like there was some type of reason you was texting me, talking to me, whatever. We we started talking, texting ever since then. We realized we were on the same page about a lot of things. We both wanted the same things in regards to a relationship. Both been through similar things in like past relationships. Not necessarily at the fault of ourselves, but at the same time it was trying to be in situations. I know at least for me, I was trying to be in situations like the situation I'm in now, but with people that just did not want the same things or that were telling me they didn't want the same things or were acting just differently than what they were saying. So it just was not for me. But this specific situation has been for me because we both have, like I said, wanted the same thing and continue to work toward that thing. So now fast forward to almost a whole year later of May 8th, we are here. <laughs> um, it is crazy. Every single day is just crazier and crazier. We, yeah um it's crazier and crazier i'm very grateful and very blessed to have had that person in my life when he was in my life in regards to like being my literally my line president my line brother to my best friend to my boyfriend to my future husband this is a person that i truly am grateful for there has only been and i've said this in a past video there's only been one other person outside of like my my blood family that could help me truly understand god's love for us and that was my sister sierra that is my sister sierra the way that our friendship just meshed and we just was joined at the hip and of course we have our ups and downs and we have like our stuff but like that is my soulmate like sierra finley is my soulmate i wanted that type of love care whatever in a lifelong romantic partner and i i knew what it would it look like because of her and if it was not for her am i getting emotional about sierra <laughs> If it was not for her, I would not have been able to grow into the person to be able to be with Brandon. Um, yeah, we've known each other now for seven years, but the person that I was back then, the person he was, we were not supposed to be together. For the person who I was as I was learning, like post-grad, him going through post-grad, him going to grad school, all of that was not two people that need to be together. Like we had to grow completely separately to get to the season we were in when May of last year for us to even see what was in front of us the entire time. Yes, these same people have been the same people, but just in a different season and it wouldn't have worked. We've had multiple conversations like we wouldn't have worked back then. It just wouldn't have not been a thing but God positions us, positioned us to be prepared for one another. And that was an opportunity to do that. And honestly, probably was an opportunity back in January, but I, I still had a lot of growing to do um, for myself. And probably he did too. I can't speak for him in that regard, but I still was not ready back then. But May was a good time and now we are here and now I am grateful. This is the first person I was not trying to date. This is not first person. This is the first person I was not like on an app looking for. I was just trying to make stuff work even though there was red signs everywhere. Like this is the first person that it has not been technically easy but it has been not complicated. It has been very clear from the beginning. Communication has always been clear and we're still learning and growing with one another. We are currently long distance right now. So communication had to be like in foundation because if we weren't talking or trying to express how we felt about certain things, we wasn't gonna work because we don't live in the same 
place. You know what I'm saying? So as we continue to grow and learn each other and be with one another, we just continue to grow and have more and more love for each other. I love him dearly. I love his family, the people that I have met. I love his friends and vice versa, of course, and stuff like that. We continue to build a relationship with one another. We're gonna build a life with each other and we're gonna continue to just work. Yeah, that is really it. So I look forward to this next season that we have coming up. We have a lot of different things going on in 2023. So I'm very excited about those things. I'm very excited for the support system that I have. I'm very grateful for my family. I'm very mainly grateful for my chosen family, my friends that I have here in Tulsa. I'm grateful for our entire line for being supportive of us. I'm I'm appreciative of our entire fraternity of being supportive. And I am most importantly appreciative of God creating this human, creating this person for me to love me, to love on me, to protect me, and to do all of those things in the way that that person is supposed to i'm just forever grateful for that i just look forward to see how stuff goes and turns out and yeah i know i had like 50,000 ohms in this in this video and i'm gonna be editing them out like crazy and i don't know how long this is gonna be but we gonna see but that is really it yeah y'all that is literally the full story as much detail as i want to give out because of course there's a lot more stuff in between there but that is as much as i am comfortable with giving so yeah that is that is really it so the last thing that i want to say uh because i he is subscribed to my youtube channel <laughs> and he watches my videos and i had a schedule of the different videos i want to post during my birthday week eight days to 28 if you are not tuned in well i mean you are tuned in if you're watching this but if you did not know i'm doing a eight long video marathon up until my birthday next week ah! eight days 28 shawty so this is day two and i didn't know because i'm looking at my schedule on my whiteboard right now i didn't know that when i created the schedule i created i put down that i was going to upload this video on his birthday so mr b <laughs> babe you are getting old man what are you you about to be 40 now you getting old, man. But I love you so much. I tell you this every single day. I love you so much. I am very grateful for you. I'm appreciative of you. There are so many things that I could not fathom that a person could do for another person until we got together romantically. I just love you so much. I can't wait until we continue to grow together i can't wait for the next season that we have in our lives i can't wait to see how the rest of 2023 uh goes i can't wait to see what new memories we create together and with tulsa gang i can't wait for all of the things all of the jar things all of the trips all of the experiences all of the life things all of the ups and the downs i can't wait to continue to learn about all the different quirks i can't wait for literally everything i'm just so open and optimistic to just seeing how god continues to form us and i'm always have your back you always my line brother first you're my best friend you are literally the glimmer in each day that i have seeing your smile makes me smile seeing your laugh your side eye everything is just crazy and i just i love every part about you and i'm just so grateful for you so that is it i hope you're having an amazing birthday i can't wait to see you tomorrow it's about to be a lit week it's about to be a lit week. We're about to have so much fun tomorrow and next weekend and everything. So I love you so much, bro. You really my nigga for real. And yeah, so that is it, y'all. That is it. This video is long enough. I was not expecting it to be this long, but it is this long. And the sun is really trying to poke out at me. And I honestly need to get ready to go to the gym. <laughs> it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. And I started recording this at like seven something. So that is really it. I appreciate y'all for even caring enough to just know about, you know, different parts of my life. And like I said, as I get more and more comfortable with certain things, I will let y'all know certain things. But yeah, so y'all definitely stay tuned for tomorrow. We got seven more days. No, wait, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, six more days in this marathon. So y'all stay tuned. If you haven't watched the first video, which is the weekly vlog, please go ahead and watch that and stay tuned for tomorrow. Cause I think we have what's coming up tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Oh, me reacting to my very first YouTube video. Please go ahead and click the video that's gonna happen tomorrow. I love y'all so much. God loves you more. I hope that for anybody watching this, it gave you some like motivation or inspiration that love is out here for everybody. It does not matter how long you wait for it. God will bring you your person or whatever that is to you. Don't worry about it. Focus on you, shawty. And God will continue to bless you in the ways that you need to be and not the ways you want to be. Okay? So, I love y'all. God loves you more. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.